All right, folks, so today we're going to be talking about finding the third length of a triangle, right? We are on, this is video two of week seven. We are working on unit eight, lesson eight, which in your workbooks is on page 71. So finding the third length. All right, so let's, let's see what I'm getting at here, okay? So when we have a triangle, okay, oh, yes, it snapped, awesome. We have two legs, right, and a hypotenuse. So usually we know what these two lengths are and we don't know what the hypotenuse is. And we find that by doing, okay, a squared plus b squared is equal to, we know it's c squared and then we'll, you know, figure out what these two numbers are, add them together, we'll get some value and we'll have to take the square root of that and we'll get what c is, right? Normally that's what happens or that's what has happened. But let's say this time, we know what this leg is, let's say it's four, and we know that the hypotenuse is five, but we don't know what this leg is, okay? So there's a very simple way to do this, all right? We already know what Pythagorean's theorem is, all right? So our step, our first step is to write down Pythagorean's theorem, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Done, I've written it down. Now we just plug in what we know. So we don't know A squared, so I'm just gonna leave that there plus b squared is four squared, great, plus c squared, c is five, so we've got five squared, great. Now we've got that done, we can start solving it, okay? So we still don't know what a squared is, four squared is 16, and five squared is 25, all right? Now, from here on out, this is a regular single variable equation, all right? It's just an equation with one, one variable. We've worked with these before. All we have to do is isolate the variable, or isolate A, get it on its own, on its own side of the equal sign. So let's move this 16 over. If we subtract 16 from both sides, we get rid of it, and we're left with A squared is equal to 25 minus 16 is nine. Boom! The variable is starting to be more isolated. Now, if we wanna isolate it further, which we do, we have to get rid of this two or the squared. And how can we do that? Well a squared, well, the square root of a squared is going to be just a. Well, we have to do one side, we have to do the other, so the square root of 9 is 3. So now we know that the length of side a is 3. Huh, not so bad, huh? Right? I made that look easy. Awesome. Well, let's try it again. Let's do this again, because there are a few more problems kind of in your book that are, I'm gonna go over something like that. So let's say we have another triangle, okay? All right, and this time we have a length of, let's say we've got the square root of 20 is this length here. And the hypotenuse is the square root of 50. And then we've just got B down here. We don't know what that length is. All right, so let's write out the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And I'm actually going to move that. We don't need that. Okay, great. Let's start filling out. So let's say a squared is, oh, root 20. So root 20 squared plus b squared equals root 50 squared. All right. Now, root 20 squared is going to be 20 plus b squared plus the square root of 50 squared is just going to be 50. Now, Let's look at this thing here, okay, real quick. Um, well, let's pick a number. So sometimes they do this in Pythagorean theorem problems to kind of mix people up. They'll just write the square root of something. Well, here's the great news, okay? Let's say we have the square root of 16 squared, and I'm saying that if we take, if we square the square root of something, we just get that number, right? So the square root of 16 squared is just 16. Well, let's work this out, all right? So the square root of 16 is what? You're right, it's four, okay? Now, if we square four, we get 16. So all we're doing here is skipping this middle step. So if we just skip that and do the square root of 16 squared, we just get 16. We don't need that middle step, all right? Now back to the problem at hand, okay? So the square root of 20 squared is 20. The square root of 50 squared is 50. Now all we have to do is isolate that variable. So we'll subtract 20 from both sides. And we're left with b squared is equal to 
30. All right. Well, we're not quite done yet. We have to get rid of that squared. So we take the square root and b is equal to the square root of 30. All right. Now, if your measurements up here are all in square, like are all square roots of a number, I'm fine with you putting your answer as the square root of a number. Okay. If we have an example like up here where we have nine is our answer and it's a perfect square or our other heights and lengths are not put as a square root, don't write them as a square root, just write them as a normal number. But if we have something like we do down here where everything's a square root, you can just write the square root of 30 in. All right. So that's how you find the third length. All right. You're pretty much just plugging in what you know into the Pythagorean theorem. And then you're solving it for the unknown variable. You're isolating that unknown variable. All right. So if you have any questions, you can email me or contact me at office hours, which are, well, my office hours are on my Canvas page. They're on Tuesday and Thursday. Or sorry, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, hope you all have a good rest of the day. Take it easy.